What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the submixes in the MPC software. Let's begin. Well, I got this EQ set up. I made no adjustments on the EQ as, as of yet. I have a simple drum beat. Now, let's say if I want to if I want to add a filter to that drum beat, it's going to add a filter to the whole kit including the kick, snare, hi-hat and the percussion loop. So watch this. See how the kick is gone? This is a high pass filter. This will filter out all the lows and will let you just hear the highs. Okay. A lot of times when I'm EQing and, and fixing drums, I like to filter out the low end on everything else that's not the kick, like uh, the snare, the hi-hat, any percussion loops, I like to filter out the lows so you can only hear the highs or the mids. That leaves, that leaves more space for the kick. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you saw how you, when I used the high pass filter, it took the kick and you couldn't hear it no more, right? So what we're going to do now. Hold on one second. Make sure you're down here where it says pad channel. Click that. Hit the kick drum or whatever, you know, or whatever sound you're trying to isolate. So I'm going to isolate the kick drum so the kick drum is not affected by this filter. Okay, so let's go to the mixing page. So what you want to do, go to pad channel, hit the kick button, change where it says program to submix. You can do any submix. I'm going to just do submix one. And now when I hit the kick, you'll see the kick on the submix one. Okay, so now let's try this again. Let's go back to program. I'm gonna mess with the same EQ. Now watch what happens. See what's happening now? The so I would do something like this because I want to filter out all of the lows on the, the snare, the hi hat, and the percussion loop, leaving space on my kick. I got the, now the frequencies to be fighting with each other. You don't want your frequencies fighting with each other, fighting with each other. That's why you want to do this. Okay. The submix is also gr uh, great for putting different sounds on the same on the same channel or the same putting different sounds on the same submix so that you don't have to use multiple effects for different sounds. You can use one effect for the, all those sounds together. So let's say, for instance, I have these four bass sounds. Let's go to, okay, so a 13, 14, well, hold on, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So let's say I want to route those to submix two. Like, how do I say this? If I go here, if I go here, if I want to add an effect to the bass, I have to add like the same effect to four different bass sounds. So I'm gonna make it just so you have to add it just to one channel. All right, and that's gonna be a submix. So take your bass, your first bass, change program to submix two. And I'm gonna do that with every other uh, bass sound. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. 
Now, all my bass sounds are in submix too. Because if I'm doing a high pass filter, I don't want to high pass my my um my bass sound unless it's like a real deep deep bass. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to filter out all the lows from the kick, you know what I mean, or the bass. So, that's why I separate all these bass sounds. Oops, sorry. So now, as you can see on Submix 2, all I have to do is add one effect, and it'll affect all four of those sounds. So that's the purpose of the Submix, all right? I hope you got something out of this video. If it's your first time here, click the link in the description and go get my free drum kit. If you've been here before, check out the Loop Masters link and the Loop Cloud link below. If you need some really, really banging sounds, some really hot trap sounds, 808s, like crazy stuff. Uh, click the links below. Uh, you'll see a Loop Masters link and you'll see a Loop Cloud link. Click both of those if you've been here before. If you haven't been here before, click the free drum kit. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Also, I left links to all of the gear I use in my studio. So if, you want, if you're curious to know what I have in my studio, uh, they're in Amazon links below also. Okay? So I hope you found this video helpful, how to use submixes in the MPC software. Uh, I hope you found this, uh, I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please click the like button. Please share this video. Please comment below what would you like to see next about the MPC or mixing in general. And share this video with everyone you know that used the MPC or was thinking about using the MPC. All right? Like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I love y'all all. Peace.